Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal, and I'm joined by Lisa Gibilario, who is a prevention specialist with Wayside Youth and Family Support Network and coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. And I'm, a, I'm your host, Mike Crowley. So, Lisa, it's great to see you again. Today, we're talking about ways parents can support their kids as those kids are leaving home, some for college, some for gap year, and some to take a job in a new place. So Lisa, all parents have to face this. The kids eventually get old enough to leave home. What's the best way parents can prepare for that, living on their own without parental supervision? Right. So I think the first piece of advice that I would offer to parents is to sit down with your kids and start brainstorming a list of things that they may be doing as they take this step away from home, away from parental supervision, things that they might be doing for the first time completely on their own. And it will vary from family to family, from child to child, um, depending on what the child was responsible for at home. But Mike, some examples are perhaps, you know, you really need to talk about managing money, setting up a budget. That might be an area that a a child will need some support in uh, before they leave. Maybe setting their own schedule and being responsible for the schedule is an area. Um, perhaps just you know balancing the different demands that will be placed upon them if you know with say work, college, classes, activities, socializing. Um, maybe accessing, understanding how to access their own medical care is an area. Um, you know, do they have an insurance card? Do they know how that works? So you're going to want to sit down first and foremost with your child and brainstorm a list of things that they will be doing on their own that caregivers have previously taken care of um, and find out where they need your support. Um, And again, it will really vary. Some kids have been really autonomous since, you know, elementary school. Other kids have not. So first and foremost is to sit down and start talking about it. So, Lisa, a lot of kids are heading off this fall, especially those who are going to college. And so over these next few months, what what specifically can parents and kids do to make this transition go really well? So I would say, Mike, is to assess how much responsibility the uh, teenager has had so far. And you basically want to start increasing it. Um, So if they haven't had chores, and and that varies from family to family, um, if but if they but if you've been a family where say, you know, you you as a parent have felt that you can, you know, you're able to do a little bit more and the kids are really busy with school and activities, well, start to shift the balance of that. So let them have some responsibility for chores, whatever that looks like, meal prep, cleaning, yard work, shift the responsibility on to the child so that they can get a sense of what it's like. Um, Cleaning up their living space, doing their own laundry, uh, start to talk about banking. Maybe they've been doing their own banking. Perhaps you've been doing it for them, but that's an area. So start to shift the responsibility and know that your kids, as they take on this responsibility, you know, they will make some mistakes and, and that's okay. And they may actually be resistant to this and that's okay too, but explain to them, you know, we're not just doing this nilly willy. We're doing this because in a few months, you're going to be on your own. And the more experiences you've had with banking, with meal prep, with figuring out, you know, some, how to, you know, clean a bathtub of effectively, um, the more experience the child has, the better off this transition will go. So I would say for the immediate months, Mike, they could definitely just start having the kid take on some more responsibility. Um, If your child has not had a summer job, have them get one this summer. So much rich experience comes from working outside of the home. They, they make their own money. They have to manage their money. They meet new people. They take on new responsibilities. Um, so lots of, of benefits to working. Um, travel, lots of Belmont families travel every summer. Try to let your child take on some of that responsibility for the planning. You know, instead of just you know, going up to the kiosk at the airport, let them go to the kiosk at the airport. Let them figure out maybe what's involved in renting a car, even though, you know, that is down the road a bit for, for kids. But um, the point is, let them take some responsibilities for travel. 
And then finally, as you said, for the kids, and there are many who are he heading off to college, you're going to want to start talking about, you know, identifying where is health services on the college campus and do they need a special card for that? Can they use your insurance card? Same thing for mental health services. If, it, if you have a child that's been receiving um, mental health services, you're going to want to find out what's available on the college campus. Where's the tutoring center? Always good to uh, identify the library, but you get the idea. A um, lot of the, lot of kids will be perfectly um, ready to do this on their own, and some kids may need a little guidance. So, Lisa, it's always good to prepare for these things in advance. My my own kid went off to college this past fall, and I cannot tell you the number of times throughout the year, you know, he's raised questions about how how he he. He does this or that, and, and I just find myself asking, how do you not know that? And it's because <laughs> we didn't talk about it beforehand. <laughs> right. So, so Lisa, um, you know, since this is such a big transition, um, tell us how parents can, 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 can work to make this, this transition work for them to adjust to the new reality of their kids being away. Right. So again, it will vary. Um, some of us are completely ready to to have our child launch and others are, you know, have mixed feelings about that. And that's OK. But I would say to recognize that your feelings about this transition are not facts because a parent may feel a little anxious. It doesn't mean they have reason to feel anxious. The child may be perfectly prepared to go off. So just recognize that you, you're entitled to your feelings, but your feelings are not factual. They're just your feelings. Um, again, I said this earlier, but it, it bears repeating. They will make mistakes and that's okay. That's actually good for character development and, you know, mistakes is how we learn. So just be prepared that, you know, they will make some mistakes. Um, and just be really flexible around your expectations. Um, this is not an overnight, just because you say goodbye on the college campus or dropping them off in the new city for a new job, doesn't mean that they're fully capable adults who can, you know, execute perfectly mature, well thought out rational decisions, right? It's a learning process. So just be flexible as they, as they take on this learning process. Um, also, this is something that I advise parents all along, but it's about differentiating. You know, if your kid does have a rough transition, try not to let that bring you too far down. You will, you will feel sad for them and you will feel concerned, but just know that it's okay and try not to let it really get into your day-to-day -day life. Um, so be, you know, differentiate, have your own sense of self separate from there your own experiences separate from their experiences. And the last piece of advice I have for parents, Mike, is, is a personal one. But what I did for my kids, um, two out of three, and I will do it for the third this August, is I wrote them letters. I wrote them a letter um, that I kind of hid in their college packing. And the letter was just a chance for me to repeat things that I'd been saying their entire lives, but I just wanted to get it down one last time. And it was a chance to, from the simple things, you know, like floss and brush every night and wear sunblock and, you know, never dive into water if you don't know how deep it is, to, you know, so very practical um, pieces of information that they've heard a thousand times, to just, you know, restating my values around, you know, um, things that they will encounter in college, you know, the party scene, you know, relationships, consent. So I advise parents to come up with your own letter, expressing your own thoughts, tell them you're proud of them, tell them, you know, that you're still here for them, you know, offer them some love and encouragement and some practical advice. Kind of, for me, it was just a way to bring it all together, full circle. Well, Lisa, that letter sounds like a really nice touch. The, the, the kids leaving home is a big transition for everyone. And I, I know that we all thank you for your helpful advice. This is the Belmont Journal News Now. I'm Mike Crowley, and we will see you next time.